Sayyida Fatima and why was she named Fatima? Written by Kisa Kids Publications. It was the middle of the night and hot air was gently blowing through the city. An eerie silence fell over the sleeping city of Mecca. Yet in one house, the sound of moaning came from a woman in pain. You see, Hazrat Khadija, the dear wife of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, was preparing for the birth of her daughter. Hazrat Khadija's pain increased with every passing moment. No one was even there to help her through her birth pains. The disbelieving women had left her all alone simply because she was Muslim and had married someone poor. Can you imagine how lonely she, have, she must have felt? All of a sudden, the skies of Mecca split open and Hazrat Khadija found herself surrounded by four women. Allah had sent these very special heavenly women to help and comfort Hazrat Khadija. By her side were Sarah, the wife of Prophet Ibrahim, Asya, the pious wife of the evil Pharaoh, Maryam, the mother of Prophet Isa, and Kulthum, the sister of Prophet Musa. Soon Hazrat Khadija gave birth to a beautiful baby girl named Fatima a name that Allah had chosen for her. The noble prophet was overjoyed by this great blessing and loved his daughter very much. As she became older, the prophet's love and respect for his dear daughter grew even more. Even when she was just a child, the prophet would always stand up and kiss her hand when she entered the room. Whenever he traveled, he made sure that Sayyida Fatima would be the last person to whom he would bid farewell. And when he would return home, she would be the first one he would go see. He would always be heard saying, Fatima is a part of me. Years later, Hazrat Khadija became ill and passed away. The Prophet was very sad. Now he only had Sayyida Fatima. During those difficult days, Sayyida Fatima would show even more love and affection towards her father. When the unbelievers would hurt her father, she would help bandage his wounds. The Prophet's love for his daughter continued to increase with each passing day. People soon began to wonder why the Prophet loved and respected his daughter so much. They would ask each other, what makes her so special? One day, Allah told Prophet to tell the people of Mecca that they should call him Rasulullah, the Messenger of Allah, instead of Muhammad. Everyone, even Sayyida Fatima, obeyed his command. However, one day, when Sayyida Fatima said to her father, O oh Rasulullah, he replied to her, O oh my daughter, this order of Allah does not include you. You are from me and I am from you. Please call me dear father. These words make Allah happier and bring joy to my heart. Years passed and Sayyida Fatima became a young lady. It was now time for her to get married. The rich leaders from Medina came to ask for her hand in marriage, but no one was good enough to marry her. Sayyida Fatima salam, married the only person who was worthy of her, Imam Ali alayhi salam. Sayyida Fatima salam, and Imam Ali alayhi salam, lived in a peaceful and loving home. Allah blessed them with four beautiful children. Even though taking care of her children and doing all the household chores was difficult, Sayyida Fatima never complained. 
One day, the mystery of Sayyid Fatima alayhi salam's name came to light. It happened when Prophet Muhammad asked Imam Ali alayhi salam, Do you know why my daughter is named Fatima? Imam Ali alayhi salam replied, Please tell me, O Messenger of Allah. The Prophet explained, Her name Fatima means the one who separates. Separates? Imam Ali asked. Separates from what? The Prophet smiled. She will save your followers by separating them from the punishment on the Day of Judgment. She's the best woman and has a very high status in the eyes of Allah. Her father is the Prophet of Allah. Her husband is the first Imam. Her two sons are also Imams and all the other Imams are her grandsons. So you see, she's the daughter of a Masoom. A Masoom is someone who is protected by Allah and chooses not to commit any sins. She is the wife of a Masoom, the mother of two Masoomins, and she is also a Masoom herself. It was now clear why the Prophet loved his daughter Fatima so much. Ya Allah, for the sake of Sayyida Fatima alayhi salam, please separate us from the punishment of the hereafter. Amin. Make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to share.